Thank you, thank you for coming on my channel, Styles Pro Grow, where we grow our confidence and skill set in healthy hair maintenance, care, and styling with a little emphasis on weave. Now, here you're going to see me transform this dry, dull, brittle hair with a beautiful color and color and hot oil treatment combo and we're going to do yet another ponytail listen to me when you specialize in silk press ponytails kind of like fall into the category for the simple fact a great ponytail starts with a foundation of a great silk press you know what i mean like you want to use those thin parts and things of that nature to get through there and press that hair out but what you see me doing here is applying her color at her outgrowth or demarcation line because she likes to wear that black hair now it is it's her hair is extremely dry you can see that you can't even see a curl pattern in this hair you hear me and i'm just like Oh my God, we have to incorporate a hot oil treatment in this color because these ends need it. So this is me putting the rest of the color uh, from out of the bottle on there. And now I'm going to comb through. I like to comb through my colors for a couple of different reasons, especially if it's like a one single process color and we're only using one color. We're not doing any uh, melting or uh, color melting or anything of that nature. So yes. If I comb it, because I'm combing it through, the color can kind of refresh the ends. And if the color is going to refresh the ends, the hair won't look as dry. She really needed a lot of moisture. Like, she really needed a lot of moisture. As you see me getting through, well, combing the color through so that it will properly saturate her hair strands. And she has a beautiful head of hair. If she just moisturized, oh my God, moisturize them curls, ladies and gentlemen. For real, I know the hair is oily and you don't want to moisturize because you want to see your hair nice and flat. But if it's time, here come the oil. It's just some vitamin E oil. Uh, I can never pronounce this company's name that I like to use. It is a store-bought oil that I just, listen, saturate on the hair with the color. And with the color already doing its thing, and it's like um, a demi. So the cuticle isn't all the way open, but it's open enough to accept products. You know what I mean? It opened for <laughs> accepting products. So this is a perfect time to incorporate a hot oil treatment is when you color the hair. You can add oil to your color concoction or after you put your color conco your color formulation on there, you saturate it with oil like you see me doing. And I'm telling you, the client loves this because you're relaxing her scalp with the massage techniques that you're using to massage the oil in and and massage the color in and all that different stuff and that's what we're going to do and we're going to bag her put on a dryer bring her back boom she rinsed and everything so this is her hair after uh, the color has been applied and that and that and then we're going to go into silking her and silking is the number one thing the number one process you want to do when doing a ponytail it's like this will make or break your ponytail. If that scalp <clears throat> is not dry enough where that hair isn't silking out to perfection, it's going to be difficult to get rid of those uh, waves, those natural waves that happen when you're silking natural hair for a ponytail. It really is. And this is going to be like, uh, I'm going to do a swoop on one side and it's going to be pretty low. And we're going to use a synthetic body wave and i'm telling you it gives it always gives me just a beautiful in finish uh not messy but messy ponytail look so this is her all silked out or whatever and she didn't she opted out of getting the trim right now because we're going to a ponytail and we were supposed to do a sew-in and let me tell you the sad part about this whole thing like this was the i believe this was the last time i did her hair for the simple fact our schedules have not been able to, um, you know, like match or what have you. So I haven't been able to service my client. 
uh, this particular client, I mean, in months. And hopefully I see her again. I shot her a couple of uh, texts. I think it was around about Easter. Did Easter just pass in April? Yeah, it was around about Easter. I shot her a couple of texts when she wanted to book her and her daughter, which, you know, sometimes you cannot book me a day in advance. And I will, yes, when you go on to my style seat, uh, if it's an opening, you can get it. Once I get the notification, if that opening works with my actual calendar, my personal calendar, because my personal calendar comes before my style seat calendar. So if I have something personally going on on the appointment dates that you want, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now that's how I'm saying something personally going on on the appointment date you want. It's probably something to do with my son, Jovan. And listen, that little person comes before anybody. But anyway, you see me smoothing the heck out of this swoop. Um, if you want more details on how to create this style, book a one-on-one. -on -one. This this is YouTube. You're going to get what you get and enjoy what you get. And it's going to be a beautiful finished look. But if you want details on details, book a one-on-one. -on -one. You're getting what you're getting here on YouTube. And I hope you don't take any offense to that. And if you do take any offense, please hit the unsubscribe button and don't come back to my channel. Because I can only do so much with being a educator, with giving you what I can give you when I can give it to you. Period, point blank. Ain't we going to skip next subject. Now, you see me swooping her over there. I have my lips balled up, boy. Because I'm telling you, when you're doing a swoop, you be so focused, it's ridiculous. I have this in real time. I'm not, it's not speeding up or anything of that nature. I just recorded about three to four minutes of each, well, maybe like two to three minutes of each process. And then I compilated a video for my YouTube channel to show my authority in this industry, which is the cosmetology industry. Now you're going to see me gather her hair, uh, into this ponytail. Now, if you, I don't know if you can gauge that I'm not really pulling her hair really tight. Uh, because if you pull the hair too tight, it starts to buckle and stuff like that. Now you want to put the hair in a ponytail and then start using the hairspray to smooth the ponytail. And it, it allows you to see exactly how the hair is going to lay and different things of that nature. And it allows you to smooth it to its fullest capability of being smooth. When you put the hair in the ponytail first and then spray the hairspray on there. I'm trying to tell you, it is so much simpler and you use less spray or you can use more spray. You see where the cracks are. You can get to the cracks. And then as you see me brushing it to the base of the ponytail, I can t once I get it nice and smooth, and you'll notice all people, all stylists that does ponytails, they kind of at some point do it like this. But I start like from the beginning and doing it like that. You know, I mean, I do. I just pull it in a ponytail and then I start to smooth after I get it into the ponytail. It, it kind of... I don't know, but it gives a comfortable ponytail for the client. It's easy for me to smooth. I can, as you see, I'm, I'm fixing the cracks a little better. I mean, it just does for me. If I put it in a ponytail first and then start to smooth with the uh, hairspray. And also, I don't use a lot of hairspray. I really don't. You see how shiny that is? Now, I'm going in and finishing, smoothing her up. Uh, that's finish the finishing touches of that uh swoop because you know round by where it laid to the forehead and that that's tuck us tend to want to uh what they call it crack and next thing you know oh ain't nothing like a crack in your swoop baby you don't want that so smooth it as much as possible and we added the tracks to give her a little fullness so that it won't crack so much uh, when we swoop it, you understand what I'm saying? So I enjoy, I so enjoy doing a swoop, a nice soft swoop ponytail. The ones, I'm not going to lie, the swoops that come into the low ponytail more so it would have gave me hell if I would have maybe positioned the ponytail a little bit more higher that, oh, I, listen, if you want a genie ponytail and a swoop, I'm not your girl. Because I don't fight with swoops. And you fight with swoops when you try to do a genie ponytail where it's all the way at the top. And swoop, me, I fight with swoops. I'm not on here to argue with anybody. You don't have to fight with swoops. You just didn't do this. You do that. Okay? 
I'm telling you, I fight with swoops and I enjoy and I'm, I am I like to stay in my lane. And this is my lane. Nice, low, to the back ponytails. I'm trying to tell you. So we got it all wrapped down. You see how smooth that ponytail is at that base, baby? Boom. Okay. We got it all wrapped down. I like doing my ponytails like this. Because when it's time to remove it at the bowl, when they come back, uh, man, listen, that paper come right on off and the hair be right there. Or the, the weave that you use to attach on top of that paper with that little glue right there, it come right off with it. Take that braid down and call it a day and start to shampoo your client. I'm trying to tell you, I love doing my ponytails like this. I don't care what nobody else doing. And, and sometimes I will, in order, well... If requested, like say some, let me say, let me say a scenario, uh, a client say, Oh, I want a ponytail, but I want to use these bundles. Nine out of 10, they're going to breathe some human bundles or some virgin bundles. I want to use these bundles for a future service issue. So can you sew the ponytail on the extended ponytail on and not glue it on? Of course I can. Of course I can to sew your ponytail on. It'll be an extra fee, but yes, I can do that. Okay. And then we could create it. And then when we take the pony to we, we take the ponytail down, the client can reuse the bundle for a different style. I'm trying to tell you, we got to make it make sense for them. Even though I know we're out here charging more than we used to in the nineties, but we got to make it make sense for them. If they're going to use human hair. Okay. Uh, do take the steps so it can reserve it. If they want to use the hair for different, for future service, this is synthetic hair that you see me using. Uh, and it's so pretty. I love me some Organique. Organique, you know that uh, synthetic brand in a black package? Organique. I'm trying to tell you, I love that brand. In their deep, their body wave, and in their uh, uh, loose body, I believe. They have some loose body. All of those give excellent up-down um, finishing looks and excellent ponytail finishing looks. And this was, you know that, that Organique comes... And it either have an individual or it has a pack that has three in it. You see how I made that ribbon? I just used some brown gel and, and put it on there and then ribboned it around. That's what I use. And I am done. You hear me? Done. This is a beautiful ponytail with a pack of organic hair with a nice, smooth, finished, sleek look. Your ponytail. Thank you for stopping on Styles Pro Grow. And I hope this helped grow your confidence in achieving this beautiful look. And she is done. God bless you and good night.